Hello friends, today we are going to discuss urea cycle. It is also known as Krab Hanslet cycle. It was discovered by Krab and Hanslet in 1932. Later on, the steps were given in detail by Ratner and Cohen. It was the first metabolic cycle to be discovered. By this cycle, body eliminates two important excretory waste. One is CO2, another one is ammonia. CO2 and ammonia, when react, they form carbamoyl phosphate. During this reaction, two ATP molecules are utilized to form two ADP. And AG is required for the action of CPS enzyme. CPS is carbamyl phosphate synthase. CPS is of two types, CPS1, CPS2. CPS1 is found in mitochondria, while CPS2 is found in cytosome. It requires an acetyl glutamate. Here, there is no requirement of an acetyl glutamate for action. It is involved in urea synthesis and it is involved in pyrimidine synthesis. So here, it is CPS1 because we are concerned with urea synthesis here. This is also the rate limiting step. As soon as the carbamyl phosphate is formed, ornithine amino acid, which is a basic amino acid, reacts with carbamyl phosphate and form sacrolein by the action of ornithine trans carbamylase. Sacrolein is formed. This sacrolein crosses the mitochondria with the help of transporter proteins. This is all the region of mitochondria and here the region of cytosol. The sacrolein crosses the mitochondria and enters the cytosol and it is converted to arginosuccinate. The enzyme involved is arginosuccinate synthase. One ATP molecule is utilized and one AMP plus PPI are formed. Also one molecule of aspartate is being consumed. Actually aspartate is another ammonia molecule donor. One molecule of urea involves two urea, two molecules of ammonia. One ammonia molecule is added freely while another one is donated by the molecule of aspartate. This arginosuccinate is converted to arginine by the action of enzyme arginosuccinase. Also, one molecule of fumarate is released. This arginine is immediate precursor for the formation of urea because as soon as one molecule of water is added to arginine in the presence of arginase enzyme, urea is released and ornithine is regenerated. This arginine is competitively inhibited by ornithine and lysine. This arginase is very important enzyme because the other four enzymes that is CPS1 or ornithine transcarbamylase, arginosuccinate synthetase or arginosuccinase. All four enzymes are found in many body tissues but this fifth and final enzyme arginase is restricted to the liver cells mainly. 
That's why urea cycle occur in liver cells. This requires cobalt and magnesium ions for action. So, in urea cycle, five steps are there. One, two, three, four, five. Two occur inside the mitochondria, while three occur in cytosol. Overall, we can say that in urea cycle, ammonia molecule, CO2 plus 3 ATP plus aspartate are being utilized, which result in formation of urea that is NH2CONH2 plus 2 ADP plus 1 AMP plus 1 PPI plus 1 fumarate. This is the urea cycle. Urea cycle can also be linked with Krebs cycle. This fumarate is converted to malate. Malate is converted to oxaloacetate. This oxaloacetate is converted to aspartate. This is urea cycle connected with Krebs cycle. So this is Krebs Henslet cycle, this is Krebs cycle. Also, Krebs cycle results in the release of CO2, which enter the urea cycle. This is the bicyclic representation of Krebs cycle and Krebs Henslet cycle.